All right, now it's time to get those nav images in the right location so then we can put them on our page. Instead of using words as links this time, we're gonna use pictures that I provided to you. It's important to note that you can have a link be either a word that a person clicks, a picture, or it could be something else as well. So what we're gonna do is I'm first gonna show you where I'm getting the images from. In this case, I'm getting them provided through the assignment that um, in right now is in Microsoft Teams. It may be somewhere else, but you're essentially looking for this LEGO site navigation assignment. And right here, it says where to download the files from. When you click this link, it's going to go ahead and take you to a page that is a Google Drive that looks like this. It's got multiple images in it, including the LEGO logo, which won't go in our nav, but will go in our website later. And you've got other pages as well. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna download these files. I suggest downloading them as a folder altogether and then you can unzip them or you can download them by one by one. If you download them by one by one, you just right click and choose download and you can download each one. If you wanna download the whole folder, you can go up to the folder name up at the top, hit the drop down menu and choose download. If you download them as a whole folder, they will come in as a zipped folder. When you have a zipped folder, essentially what it's doing is it's compressing the files and making it so that you can send them pretty quickly and easily online. When you have a zipped file, you have to unzip them before you can start using the files. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this folder and that will open up in my file explorer window. When you have a folder that's zipped, it will give you extract up at the top if you're on a Windows computer and you can extract those files. I'm gonna go ahead and extract them it's gonna create a folder for me, that's fine. And I'm gonna hit extract. It, I'm gonna make sure that it's showing me the extracted files when I'm done, so that way I can extract those and see those files. So you'll see a secondary file explorer window should open, and now it no longer has the extraction options. I'm gonna close the compressed folder and view just my extracted files. Going in here, I'm gonna go ahead and select every one of these images. I can choose select all up here, I can hit control A on my keyboard, or I can start in the bottom right and I can click and drag. You can also hold shift, control, lots of ways to select files. I'm gonna go ahead and then I'm gonna move or copy those. In this case, I'm gonna copy them. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna copy. And now what you wanna do is you wanna navigate to where your files are on your computer for your LEGO website. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to where my files are, which are on my desktop, into my digital design one folder, and into Lego. In Lego, these are files that I'm going to be using on my um, website and I want put on the web, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them into my assets folder. I'm gonna then right click paste or control V on my keyboard or use the paste option up in the ribbon. Now that my files are in the right location, I can go to Dreamweaver and I can refresh my files in the bottom left of the files panel. When I refresh the files, I can then hit the drop down expand arrow for assets, and I can see all of my different assets of my website images right there ready to roll. At this point, you can now start putting your images onto your website inside of your nav.